Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this everyday look. This is something you guys can wear to work, to school, running errands. I will be filming um, a transformation from this into a nighttime routine. So if you guys would like to see that, please comment down below. If you guys like this look, please keep on watching. So the first step was applying moisturizer, which I used the Vici Nora Derm Anti-Age Moisturizer. And then I applied the Bare Minerals Primetime BB Primer Cream in Light. And this is supposed to act like a BB cream and a primer mix in one. So it's going to apply very, very, very sheer coverage. So you guys can apply this before using a palette foundation. Or if you want a very heavy, like, uh, full coverage, you can apply this even just as a primer and apply your foundation on top afterwards. So I'm just buffing this into my skin thoroughly with the Flat Top Kabuki. going a little bit on my chin just to even out the highlight and I'm going to buff this in with the tapered kabuki brush. I'm just going to set all the work we did with the concealer and the primer with the Besame translucent and brightening vanilla powder. I do think this is better than the Ben Nye um, banana powder only because I feel like it's more finely milled so the so the powder is very thin and velvety. After smoothing through my eyebrows, of course, I'm going to use the MAC Lingering Eyebrow Pencil just to lightly feather in my brows wherever I have sparse areas. And I really do recommend this pencil even over the Anastasia Beverly, the Beverly Hills um, Eyebrow Wiz. And I do like this pencil even more because it's something you guys can use to feather in your eyebrows rather than color in and make it very obvious that you're um, shading in your eyebrows and you do have sparse hair. So this makes it very, very, very natural. So I do recommend this to all. just to warm it up and to make my eyes look like they're wide awake so I'm just gonna use this with the eco tools fluffy eyeshadow brush Dolce Pink and I'm going to apply this 
cheeks and then pull it back. I do like to use a lot of blush because I find it just looks so flattering and appealing. So, and with this blush, you don't have to use highlighter on top of it because it does have small specks of shimmer in it. So this works just as good as a blush and a highlighter to anyone. I'm then going to use the Physicians Formula Sexy Booster Cat Eye Collections Liquid Eyeliner in Ultra Black to thin, to give myself a thin line. I'm not going to be doing a wing or anything dramatic, just a small thin line. Because this is an everyday look, I don't want to be applying lip gloss or lipstick and lip liner all that. So I'm just going to apply this Benny Balm which is in the rose tint. It's a hydrating tinted lip balm. I'm just going to give myself a, a very thin layer of this and because it is tinted, it works great for the daytime. I'm then going to go back with my bronzer because I felt like my face just needed a little bit more color. So I'm just going to use a small fluffy brush to go back into this Smashbox palette and apply a little bit more of the bronzer. Results, you guys I hope you guys really enjoyed the tutorial I mean you do see my little pimple on the left cheek peeking through because it is something your skin is supposed to breathe through this is not a heavy coverage routine this is something you guys can just wear during the daytime running errands or something it's just a natural very simple look so if you guys like it please like and subscribe and comment down below on what you guys would like to see next I love you guys and thank you for watching